from an idea that I had that I wanted to project onto the Mersey Tunnel Airbend because it's such a beautiful, vast space. And in fact, down there, it's got like a piazza in front of it, so it looks like a perfect place to have a stage and like an enclosed audience and the projections behind the stage. And I work a lot with visual artists, so I write a lot of music for animations and film, and I love performing it live. So I was like, oh, this would be amazing to do down here. So when the, first, the Capsule Culture Commissions came up to actually do something with the buildings in Liverpool and combine uh, international artists with local artists, then it was just a perfect opportunity. So I put in a proposal to project onto this building and get some New York artists over that are new to work with Jacqueline. Um, she's based in Liverpool. And yeah, it got successful, so here we are. <laughs> Tonight is the Viking Movie Theatre. So from six o'clock until eight, we've had Dr. Bike servicing people's bikes for free. And then at eight o'clock, we're showing um, bike films and urban city films and things that use the urban planning. And, and then we're doing a big bike pilgrimage all the way down to the air vent because it's the opening of the air vent installation tonight. Well, basically it's this like graffiti animation where basically we like got a wall side of that gallery which is we're here tonight and um, we've like sprayed the yellow lines of the road illegally to like come up with this line which changes into a television and it's all done by stop frame. We feel with a, a bit more funding and a bit more time we could do a lot more but it took us two days to achieve what you're going to see tonight. Festival, um, I put on the screening, which is a bike-in screening. Uh, so the idea is it's like like a drive-in. Uh, you know, in the States you get drive-in movies, but this is for bikes. And then the film screening is a selection of local and international films that I programmed about the city. So the idea of putting that together with the bike-in is just to get people to think about the way that they live in the city. Well, I think the idea about public art, um, you know, one of the things that can be very special about presenting work out in the open is that people don't necessarily have to go out of their ways to encounter it or engage with it. Uh, we have the Smith Quartet on tonight who are a string quartet um, and play a lot of uh, modern classical music, if that's not a uh, contradiction. Um, but part of putting together the festival, Hannah Peel, who organised it, has arranged for lots of different video artists locally to produce work which goes with that music. <laughs> doing the first piece up, um, which is um, completely computer generated. So what you see here, uh, the patterns that uh, you can see on the screen are generated by the movement of the mouse, or by this window here, uh, and then various other buttons change the way those patterns behave. Hopefully it'll all go beautifully with the music.
there have been uh, other events that have been, we started off this week, this is the first official full week worth of stuff, but uh, Hannah who's curated this um, and you know she, she got the green light for it um, a year or two ago from the culture company with, as part of the 08 uh, commissions. Uh, she's been doing audio visual events for many years, in fact probably even before I started doing things. Um, it was one of the first pieces she did as her final piece of work as a student at Lipper uh, in the Blue Coat Theatre as was over there before uh, the refurbishment. Um, and she's, she's a violinist and trombone player and everything. Um, but she composed some music with a, um, a writing partner, Emma, and um, they performed that with some original silent movies and some animated films uh, and made their own soundtracks to them. And that was probably one of the inspirations for me. 